it's tremendously encouraging to see all across this country the uh, remarkable interest on the campuses and off the campuses on an issue which is uh, not only uh, just an issue of survival, but an issue of how we survive. I don't think there's any other issue viewed in its broadest sense, which is as critical to mankind as the issue of the quality of the environment in which we live. You hear the word ecology, that's a big science, not a narrow one. It's a big concept. And it is concerned with all the ramifications of all the relationships of all living creatures to each other and their environment. It is concerned with the total ecosystem, not just how we dispose of uh, tin cans, bottles, and our garbage. It is concerned with the habitat of marine creatures, animals, birds, and man. And our goal is not just an environment of clean air and water and scenic beauty while forgetting about the worst environments in America, in the ghettos, in the Appalachians, and elsewhere. Our goal is an environment of decency, quality, and mutual respect for all human beings and all other living, living creatures. An environment without ugliness, without ghettos, without poverty, without discrimination, without hunger, and without war. Our goal is a decent environment in its broadest and deepest sense. And winning the environmental war is a whole lot tougher battle, challenge <clears throat> by far, than any other challenge ever to confront mankind. We could terminate our involvement in Laos in 30 days, and it's my belief we should. And we could terminate our involvement And we could terminate our involvement in the killings in Vietnam in 120 days, and I think we should. But wish for it, work for it, fight for it, commit unlimited resources to it, nevertheless. The battle to restore a proper relationship between man and his environment, between man and other living creatures, will require a long, sustained political, moral, ethical, and financial commitment far beyond any commitment ever made by any society in the history of man. Are we able? Yes. Are we willing? That's the unanswered question. 